Hi guys, it's Troy the Full Setup here back for another video today and today we're just having a quick look at some uh, motherboard that I've got and this is the MSI, let me figure it out, H110M Pro VD. Now I've bought this motherboard as part of um, just a section that I want to do on my channel. I want to start doing some uh, benchmarking and gaming builds but just on like cheaper equipment because I understand that not all of you can go out and purchase like i5s, i7s, high-end motherboards and that you can still have a really good gaming experience on cheaper hardware. So I needed to get a motherboard um, and I decided to go down the Intel path. Now this motherboard does support Intel 6th um, generation Skylake processor but there has also been a BIOS update so it can um, support the upcoming uh, KB Lake um, processors as well although you're probably going to have to have a Skylake processor in it first I'm just going to turn this light down because it seems to be causing a bit of glare so yeah this is just a nice small little micro ATX board and I just wanted to show sort of show you around it this could be useful to anyone looking at buying this board as well just for sort of reference of what they're going to get um, but you can go over to the website and it's got like the full manual and everything as well. So what we have is four USB 2.0s on the rear. Um, then we've got the PS2 slot, a DVI and a VGA. Would have really liked to see a HDMI here, maybe HDMI and DVI, but this board, the Pro VD, um, is marketed more at the business sector. It does appear to be a little bent as well. Sometimes the boards do turn up bent, which I don't like. Um, and then we've got two USB 3.1s. We've got an Ethernet. Then you've got your audio jacks as well. I think the Ethernet is gigabyte, um, gigabit in, in uh, Ethernet. So let's have a little look at the board. Now I always like to sort of show off half the board at a time. So here you can see we've got all the voltage regulators. You've got your MOSFETs down here as well that don't have um, any sort of um, heat sinks on them. But that's fine. This isn't an overclocking board. It's not marketed as a high-end gaming board. So don't expect to see them either. Um, then there is a little anti-tamper jumper is what I think that one is up there. Sorry, I didn't get a uh, manual with the box because I bought this open box. Um, so... Uh, I'm just trying to do all this off memory from having a quick look at the guide online. Then we have the four pin um, power for your CPU. Over here we have CPU fan one um, and there is another system fan down here. Really bugs me that I know they're small motherboards you only get two fan headers. I think all motherboards should come with at least three hand fan headers. So yeah, a little bit annoyed with that. Then we have the um, CMOS battery here um, and then there's also a clear CMOS jumper which you'll be able to see when I show you the bottom part of the board. Then we have the socket as well, um, which is a 1151, as mentioned earlier, um, sixth generation Skylake and support for seventh generation KB Lake. Then we have two um, DDR4 slots um, that are rated up to 2,133 megahertz. Um, and you can go up to 32 gigabytes as well with that. So if you had two 16 gigabyte sticks, but to be honest, I don't think you'd want to put more than 16 gigabytes in here because you're not going to be putting too high end a processor. I'm actually starting off with um, some Celerons. We're going to see how they game. Um, then you have the 24 pin power and you have the USB 3.0 header as well. So let's have a look at the bottom of the board. So we have one PCI Express 3.0 slot um, and two PCI ones by one mode. The three is by 16. We've got the H110 chipset under here. These, uh, This jumper here is for all your power connectors and we've got the speaker. Not too sure what this one is. I couldn't even see this in the manual what this one does. And you can see this is geared up. They, they're using this sort of the whole uh, micro ATX board for different... Um, different boards coming because here we should have a SATA um, an extra two SATA slots but obviously that must be on a higher end model which is a bit of a shame because I really like the side SATAs um, so you can swing them through the back but we do have four um, SATA six gigabytes SATA, um, SATA three six gigabytes per second as well so that's good to see then we've got one USB header so you can put another two USB headers so with your six USBs on the back your two um, on this header, you can have a total of 10 USBs with this board. Um, then you can see there's another, should be a USB here, but that's soldered, so that must be for a higher model. Then we have the serial, um, we have the serial connections, the audio connections, and the trusted platform module. And up here appears to be an LED strip that they use to shield the audio for the Realtek audio. But I'm not too sure if that lights up or not. So... 
there we go there's just a quick overview of the board that i'm going to be using for some budget intel um builds if you have any questions please do ask sorry if this video is a bit rushed i'm shooting it on my lunch break um because i want to get the pc built this evening so yeah if you like this video uh tell me why if you don't tell me why um and if you want to see some gaming videos using this board and some cheap intel skylake and uh, kb lake processors next year uh please subscribe to the channel